Coach, uh, congratulations. You look you don't look any the worse for wear. You're not wearing any ski goggles here. I, I, I hope that you've managed to avoid the champagne. Paint the picture for me in the room with, with, with your group as you have gotten to the top of the mountain. Yeah, no, I just threw the goggles on the court. So I figured if I'm going on with you that uh, it, goggles isn't a good look for the coach. So <laughs> you got me clean. <laughs> I disagree, man. You've earned the right to celebrate like world champions, which you are. But again, if, you, if, you're in, if I'm in the room right now with your guys when you walk in and, and it's happened, what, what's the best way to explain it all? You know, these guys are just, uh, they're on top of the world. You know, they're champions. They put in so much time and effort, um, the resiliency. And, and you know, you just kind of, you, you get to let it all out. A lot of screaming, hollering, a lot of champagne, a lot of goggles. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's an amazing feel. You feel like you're on top of the world is all I can say. And the players deserve it. Just couldn't be happier for them. You know, we played some sound, Mike, from, from the locker room from game two, where you told your guys, look, we got better tonight. And I always think in that moment, like, do you believe it? But then I'm looking at the box score and they made 23s and it was still a coin flip game. Were there things you took on that flight back home looking at film where you thought to yourself, you know what? We're all right here, and if and if so, what what were they? Yeah, no, I mean, I I do feel like there was, uh, you know, we said it in the locker room. Sometimes you say things in the locker room, and and you feel it. It's from the heart. <laughs> right. It's from the gut. And then you go watch the film, and and sometimes the film says, no, you're you're dead wrong. But it, it, in this case, you know, we saw things where we improved, where we got better. We felt like we could hang our hat on a few things defensively. We. We could be better. Um, we could make things harder on them. And offensively, we could play better. And, and, you know, we were able to come home and win a game three. And, you know, once you win, once you win a game and, and you're on your home court and then you got another one at home, uh, we were just able to catch a little momentum. But I, I do think just the feeling in the locker room, the honesty that even in a loss, you can learn. In a loss, you can get better. Um, and, and then we challenged each other in the film. And uh, we took it from there. And, um, you know, here we are tonight. I appreciate what coaches do and it's about the team it's not about you but if you'd indulge me and answer a question about you I think what happens to players and to coaches is when they haven't done something the, the conversation tends to be about what they haven't done as opposed to what they have done and now that you've done the thing you hadn't done which is w win 16 in the postseason win a title I just wonder personally for you wh what do you allow yourself this most satisfying about that accomplishment No, in, in all honesty, I love our team. I love our players. I'm just happy for them. You know, okay. I'm fortunate to be coaching this team. And um, I, I just, I literally am just so happy for the players. And, and it's a lot of work, the coaching staff, all of us. There's no doubt. I, I, I can't deny, you know, I, I, it feels great for all of us. But these players, um, they're the ones out there doing it. It's, it's just, uh, it's amazing to coach this group. Mike, I've done this for a long time, and, and I feel like I, I, sometimes I can ask a decent question, and then sometimes there's a guy like Giannis, and I don't even know how the hell to ask it. I don't know how to ask a question that's original yeah. about a talent like that, about what he is, about what he does. I just, he, the man scores 50, he's 26. You heard what I just described that he's already done. How do you best explain who this young man is that you get to spend your time working with? Yeah, he's just the ultimate competitor, the ultimate winner. Um, his understanding of what we need, and I just love, you know, I think it's six blocks, the, the block in game uh, four, um, you know, what he does defensively, he switches, he guards, you know, every position. Um, his understanding of, of, you know, what it takes for us to be great defensively. There's a lot of guys that won't lay it out on the line like he does on that end of the court. And then offensively, the way he trusts his teammates, and, and then he attacks and, and in space. and tonight at the free throw line. He just, you know, I think I think he said, you know, earlier, I thought I heard him say he had to do a little bit of everything. Every day, that's what we tell him. You got to do a little bit of everything and, and we want more. And, uh, you know, we talk about he's going to get better. Uh, he's young. Uh, you know, we're excited about him. We're excited about everybody, but he's incredibly special. And I just think the competitive nature, um, it just always stands out to me about Giannis. I know that state pretty well, and I know the only thing they enjoy as much as cheese curds and brats is beer. So throw those goggles back on and dive out into the Deer District and get yourself a, a cold one or whatever. Enjoy this night. Enjoy all your team and you have accomplished. Congratulations, Mike, and thanks for taking the time to join me. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.